This video is showing the inspection of a Caterpillar 990 wheel loader. It's in the level of a TA1 inspection. The inspector would check the engine for leaks. He would open the air filter, look for condition of oil filters. And then he would check for blow-by, do we have leaks on the oil pan, is there any water or coolant in the engine oil, is the engine blowing, checking the oil condition, if it is black with suit, is the engine blowing from the filler dipstick, checking if the turbo loader, the turbo charger is okay. Then the inspector would look for pressure in the cooling system and if the coolant is clear. Oops, on this machine we found oil in the cooling system. That means most probably that there is a problem with the water pump. So for this customer we took an oil sample of the engine and the transmission. So Wolfgang is showing how to take an oil sample. On most Caterpillar loaders it get, it's, it's easy because you have the sockets where you can easily take the oil sampling without using a pump. So that's it, cleaning the socket. Okay, now of course having a look to the fume if the exhaust is clear and then an operational test is done. Can we do two or three movements of the machine smooth at the same time? Is there a lot of play in the pins of the bucket and the loader frame? Then we would check if the machine can lift itself with the bucket. If not, you can suppose there are internal leaks in the hoist cylinders. Now an operational test is done, it's driving forward and reverse, is the machine changing all gears smooth, is there an abruption, is it, is the transmission, the transmission working well, what's the sound of the axles, are we having a bad noise from the axles, in this case it's a bit complicated because the the tires on front axle are under chains. So it's not that easy to hear the noise from the axle. But at least you can hear the transmission. Then on on this test the steering is tested as well. So it's a lot about feeling. What feeling does the inspector get when he is inspecting the machine? Then a so-called stall test or torque stall test is performed. The engine and the transmission should be warmed up to do that. And then there is a procedure for checking the torque, the transmission at, and the engine at the same time with the so-called stall test. So MEBAS inspectors know how to do that. Then a play test for the articulation is done. On larger wheel loaders sometimes we even measure the play. The steering is checked for play. Of course the inspector has a look if there are leaks on any cylinders. 
Now, investigation of axles and drive line. Any leaks? Do we have damage to the lift frame? Any cracks in the chassis? What about the bucket? Any cracks? And of course, such an inspection takes almost two hours for the machine of this size. So what you see in the short video is just a summary of what an inspector is doing. And together with the inspection he does 100 plus minus pictures. Okay, checking the linkage and the loader frame, of course, tires, chains, wheel hubs, steering, cylinders, cardans, so drive shafts, tire condition. The tires will be measured by the way. Only a visa inspection is not enough for a machine of this size. Okay, leaks on transmission or axles. Then taking the cycle time for, for boom lift and bucket in out. Checking if the automatic bucket kick out is working. course taking the hours and is the hour meter working so 